Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini my gemini and my beautiful collective. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, new subscribers. Returning day ones. That's been rocking with me forever. I love you and the cross watcher. Of course, honey, I love you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, baby. We don't know. Take the energy that resonates, please, and leave the rest. Don't ever, and I say ever, force anything to fit, okay? Bits and pieces may resonate. Some of it may resonate. All of it may resonate or none of it, okay? Energy is fluid. Now, I can be saying he, she, them, they, all of that. Okay, you take the energy and take it where it needs to be. Because I don't know your life like you do. And also, um, just remember, I could say she and it could be a he. Like I said. like I, So just take it and use your discernment, sweethearts. Um, choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, come check us out and see what we're about, ooh, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay! I know some of y'all like, she be extra. Look, then why are you watching if I extra? Just fast forward to the message then. I mean, I'm not for everybody, okay? But once you get a taste of my energy, you'll be thirsty for more. <laughs> anyway, you have a cross watch your high might be, baby. Let's get into it. Somebody's trying to stop partying or spirits and some of y'all need to quit partying so much because it's affecting your career and your finances. So some of y'all need to use your discernment on um because your calling is different. You can't be partying all day. All night. Look, divine timing. God is calling someone. Okay? It's time for you to move on and walk away from something. And some of y'all know because you're staying up late at night. Because this is whatever. This is divine calling that God is calling you. And some of y'all on your head about it. Like, don't want to let go of something. But, mm -mm, let go. Let go. Okay, so some of y'all. Okay, let's see, Spirit. What's going on with the baby's energy? Holy Spirit, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love. Somebody, somebody's not for you, okay? I don't know. You're in your head about something. Maybe you just had a breakup, but somebody's in their head about you or you about them. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're stressed out. They're stressed out. <laughs> Maybe this person, I don't know. They, oh, they want to take it slow, okay? Because they're afraid. I don't know. Maybe you let somebody go, but they want to come back and they're saying, we can take it slow. We don't have to rush, but that, like, what? I don't know. We want to see how you feel. Yeah, you feel like this person parties too much. And you don't. Oh, damn. You don't feel like it's a divine union. So you feel the opposite of this person. Spirit, you feel like you're just too different. We're just too different, okay? Or maybe they say this to you, but there is some difference between y'all and you're, you're done, Gemini. You're like, hell no, you're not for me. I'm just uh, getting the cards together. You're not for me. Yeah, you don't miss somebody. And you already you don't need to make a decision. It's already made up. Damn, Gemini, you cold with it. Cold blooded. And this person, <laughs> I mean, it looks rude, but I feel like you are a loving, forgiving person. You just want to just move forward and whatever, but you just don't want to let the past or whoever this person is back in your energy, okay? You probably used to party with this person a lot, okay? So this could be about love or friendship or whatever. I'm hearing party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Why do you still have party all the time? That's by Eddie Murphy, by the way. Oh, Eddie, what's going on? Why don't you quit singing? He has some good songs. 
was Eddie Murphy a one hit wonder and then he moved into the movies? I don't know. Maybe he was already in the movies and then he moved into the entertain. I mean, the music industry. Child, okay. Somebody, I feel like whoever this person is, or this could be you. No, they're in denial. They're in denial about you not wanting them. I don't know why we keep getting this energy. Why are they such in denial? And they want you to forgive them. It's like you forgive them, but they don't feel like you forgave them. I don't know why. Oh, spirit. This, this person, look, this person's a hoe. I'm telling you, because flings, they overthinking about something. Because you're healing. Whoever you are, you're healing. You're healing, okay? You're possibly started your spiritual journey or on your spiritual journey. Whatever you do, and you know you're always healing. There's never a day that you're not healing, okay? There's so much on this earth in this world and this 3D to overcome and do shadow work. So you will never not be healing, okay? And sometimes you might be retested to make sure you're healed. And if you're not and you fall down, then you get back up again. Get back up again. That's a shout out to Donnie. What's up, Donnie McClurkin? <laughs> but you know this person's a hoe okay you are if you get with them i don't know this i feel like this person's having i don't know they have some unsent messages to you they keep they want to text you they want to reach out to you but they're scared okay because they feel or they know that you don't trust them they can't even trust themselves possibly because they already know they put the strizits yeah, they H O E double hockey sticks three o four. I've been sleeping around sometimes. One night stands. Like, bitch, if you don't, so you're healing, baby. Some of y'all could be doing yoga, okay, with the healing of your mind, which you are. And this person is stressed out because I don't know you about a secret love affair that they had. They don't want you to lose hope or something like that. Like just because they had that secret secret love affair. They were like, I don't love them. I love you. I dropped that burden. That person ended up being a burden. Oh, for real though, spirit? That person was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person, now they're mad because now all of a sudden, we're going to find out what happened with the person that's this fling. Honey, they don't, they don't forgive this fling because this fling possibly came in between you guys or something like that. Or they were partying with this fling. Somebody is pushed to their button. Somebody, somebody's upset. They really mad, okay? They don't love somebody no more, or they drop the burdens, or I'm gonna put these two cards down the hook. Yeah, because somebody feels like they're the reason you got away, but they're not the reason you got away. They are the reason you got away. They just allowed this other person to add on to the reasons of why you're 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 going away. Okay? They didn't even treat you like a normal human being at all. Okay, what kind of robotic like energy? Like, what, maybe this person has certain roles that some people are supposed to play, women and or men or whatever the case may be. They just had you as a fling. They cut put you in the same category as this. Maybe it started off as this. Okay, hot and passionate and fiery and all that. So you possibly had a lot of passion and fire with this person, but now they mad as hell. They think you pushing their buttons because. You're not answering their calls or answering their messages or you're not reaching out. Okay, you started dating other mother. They think you, honey, this person, if you dating, this person is angry. <laughs> oh, they mad. Ah! This person probably could be throwing tantrums and shit. You'd be like, boy, if you don't, child, they, because you don't, you're not fighting for this relationship anymore. That's why they're angry. You're dating. You're living the, your best life. You've realized, actually, that whoever this energy is, they're not a divine union. All they do is, is party. They possibly are on some type of substance all damn day. Child, they party with their homies or their homeboy. They act like a frat boy or a frat girl. It's like, how old are you? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's how you know they're not a divine union. Because they didn't want to get their life together. And exactly, because they were living a double life. Okay, they weren't who you thought that they were. It says, I'm living a double life. I'm a different person in each. So guess what? This person's a um, chameleon. Giving me King of Wands energy. Very fiery, hot, passionate energy. Mm -hmm. And you not fighting for this no more. This relationship is pissing this person off. And they're throwing a tantrum. A grown 
woman or man is sitting here throwing some type of damn tantrum because you erased them out of your energy, okay? You done transmuted it. You focusing on yourself now, okay? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this person is jealous that you're having drinks or you're going... Somebody could look. For some of you, not all of you. This person is so all in your business. They got drama everywhere they go. They feel like if they come to you, there's going to be some drama that's going to start or a fight's going to break out because this new love or you got a new child. I can't, I'm telling you, look, they are overthinking this new love that you have or going into because I'm telling you they're being nosy. For some of y'all, y'all really in a new relationship. And this person could be spying on you for sure. Uh-huh. I forgot. Where was the wine glass car? I can't, I'll find it. Yeah. This is a player. Somebody who thinks that they're a player or they try to be a player. They drink it heavily now because um, you're dating or they're in regret that they're at their breaking point. Child, did it. when I say a grown person having a tantrum, look at this person. Hold on. Spirit, look. Look at them. They are at their breaking point. They are in regret, angry, pissed off that you're not fighting for this no more. Now this person says, this player say they choose you, boo-boo. They say they choosing you. And um, but the thing is, you're not choosing them. And you've un you erased them or excuse me. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. That's exactly what you did. And they're mad because you don't want to fight for it no more because you done threw up your hands and they're drinking and everything. <laughs> and it's like they're on the verge of confessing their... No, I don't know. This player wants to confess to you how they feel about you. And then I'm also, when I see that wine glass, because I'm trying to look for that wine glass, because there is somebody in the background of that wine... Oh, there she go. This person is jealous of your new love, though, okay? Like I said, this is this is you and your new boo, whoever it may be. You could be any... Whatever. But there's somebody in the background now that's looking with envy about. So you, the divine masculine, you can have, be used to be with this person, or take it out. I feel like it's a feminine energy because I've been picking that up. There's a jealous ass feminine energy or another masculine energy. Take it however it goes. Or masculine, I don't know because everybody's different. But there's a third party in the background that is envy. It's of y'all's relationship. But I feel like it's this masculine, though, showing up as a feminine. If that's making sense, like their energy, like they act like a bia. You know what I mean? A grown man or woman throwing a tantrum is a bia, period. So you're dating right now. Mm hmm. And this person's drinking. You dating and somebody drinking because you about to get into a commitment or you are in a commitment or you about to get married. That seems to be the thing thus far. So y'all better be putting on your big girl panties and big boy drawers and get it together, okay? There was some gossip about you that the gossip, I don't know. And so they felt like because they're friends or people's opinion, I'm going to put it that way, somebody else's opinion or family's opinion, whoever's opinion, then they, decide, they decided, oh, you're not for me. But now they're in regret. They're at their breaking point because you don't trust them because... What is this fling spirit? What in the world? What in the world is this fling? Hold on, y'all. Let me grab good old faithful. Okay. Good old faithful is the writer. Wait, they always give me a clarity. Somebody, they, they, now they want time to think things over because somebody wasn't done being an F boy or F girl. Yeah, now all of a sudden they want it all with you. Mm-mm. Did we almost have it all? No, we didn't. Because <laughs> we don't. Okay, this person's pissed. I'm telling you. Spirit, what in the world is... What was I asking y'all? I needed to know what was this jealousy, breaking point. Somebody can't be trusted. Oh, well, what did they do? This fling. Somebody wants you to forgive them, but this is something unforgivable. And they're mad about it. Because you healed. Oh, damn, Jaina. Okay, spirit. What is this fling? What is this fling that they had? Now, for some of y'all, it's just a random chick or gal. But for some of y'all, I'm going to just say it because it's, it's, the drums are going in my head. <laughs> What's up, Kelly Precise? Yes, Kelly Price. 
Honey, you 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 sang that song, okay? You sang it. Yeah, you was conf okay. For some of y'all, y'all wasn't sure, confused. You you you. God was telling you who it was, but you wasn't wanting to believe it for some reason. I don't know, okay? And th this person wants you to pray. I don't know who is this spirit. Tell me who who is this fling? Or they were having flings. What's the fling? They invested in the fling. They show sure did. Queen of Wands in reverse. I cannot make it up. So whoever you were thinking it was, okay, this is, you know, and they they do they do black magic too. Not all of them, but most of them do. Okay, no offense. I know they're gonna be mad. I don't do then you then you must then you're a queen of wands in the upright and you wouldn't even have reacted to that comment, okay, because you know who you are. Queen of Wands in the upright, they're confident. They know who they are. They don't get triggered like that. They're, they're all, they work on themselves as well. They work on their craft, their art. They mind their business. They drink their water. They do their squats. They do their, you know, whatever they do for their own, you know, health, confidence, whatever they do. But, uh, and then some of them, I do that too. But if you're getting triggered and all that extra, then you're, because you, this, like, this is not confident. This is triggering. This gets triggered all the time. Yeah, you look good. Somebody could have a low self-esteem. So they had an affair or had a fling with somebody who had a low self-esteem. They mad at this queen of wands, honey, because you done walked away. They never thought you was going to walk away. And come to find out, they're heartbroken, devastated. Spirit say, you're telling the truth because the truth came out about this queen of wands in reverse. She was married. <laughs> They was Mary Spirit and look, 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 look. they defeated. Okay, because and they could have been on the down low. Keep it on the down low. Nobody has to know. Somebody got backstabbed and betrayed to the ultimate. Lord, you have mercy. Now they want to come and communicate with you. That they don't have some type of epiphany and they want to make some type of solid offer that's they want to make it appear like it's coming from God, but it's coming from the dead. Man. They want to come make it to you, Queen of Swords. Okay, you don't have to be a queen, like a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be any zodiac sign, but you're standing on ten toes, the truth. You got your sword up. like you. It's like kind of you might entertain it, but if they say the wrong thing or make the wrong move, you will cut a bitch. Okay, mm -hmm. you sure will. And you will froggy and leap. Just let them, let them do something crazy or say something crazy, Gemini, because you with it right now. Okay? So somebody wants to come to you with an illusion, though, because they're embarrassed about... Tell me more about this Queen of Wands in reverse, child, because the fling got them burnt, honey. Yes, they did. Look, you see this fire back here? Look, they just off of lust and passion and everything, but all fire is burning in the background, or it could be vice versa. This masculine could have burnt... Ooh, spirit, gave, spirit spirit just gave me something. This person could have been, been on the LGBTQIA on the down low in a sense because I do have the, um, after that, what was the other duck spirit? I had the nine of wands energy. I mean, not the, yeah, the nine of wands, the nine of wands. And that card for me is my LGBTQIA community. So it could be that this queen of wands who was already in a relationship feels defeated because they were being petty and they had a fling, okay? And whoever the masculine was, was burning and burnt the queen of wands. And the queen of wands burnt the husband or the wife. Oh, child. Ooh, this is a lot right here. Spirit, what else? How long? We only 18 minutes in and all of this? Lord have mercy. Okay, hold on, y'all. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is too much. Child, somebody's an LGBTQIA. No, what it was is the man was LGBT. He got burnt. He was already burning. Was already burning. Yeah, that's what they behinds get. Creeping around. Now the tables is turned. The wheel is on your... Yeah, something moved forward for that. Ooh, they didn't know. Ooh, definitely Karma. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, baby. And you know it, Gemini. High Priestess Energy, and they should have known it too. They should have known. They knew that this was some type of divine union. Okay? They knew it. They knew it. They knew it was a divine union, but it was a karmic. So they were supposed to learn a lesson from 
this particular relationship. They were in denial that you were the person. They were in denial. This person still wanted to run the streets. They were drama filled, starting arguments and fights. You like, what the fuck is wrong with you, girl? No, what's going on? What's going on? And you knew it. They knew you were the two of cups. High priestess and the two of cups. They knew that this was a divine soul union. But they chose to go the other route, however route, okay? And now they backstabbed and betrayed themselves. They knew it was going to be a betrayal in some sort or fashion. Child, however, whoever, child, a Cap, what a Capricorn or a Capricorn knew or something, however it goes. Somebody who oh, is in regret and sad, look, I can look how they look in. All for messing with the devil, doing low vibrational things, the tables turned. This is definitely karma for how they treated you. They treated you like an object. They didn't treat you like a human being. Okay, telling you telling you that they love you by treating you like S-H-I and the T-T, okay? Now they're at their breaking point. Mm -hmm. I want to give you some type of small-ass baby offer. Like, boy, if you don't go and grow, literally, okay? This person could be like, like a Napoleon complex. They could be little, but I don't know. Something about their arm. <laughs> That's what Spirit said. It's a baby arm with this... <laughs> They want to be. They want to be happy. I, I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. How can I love somebody else mm. if I can't love myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go of illusions? So that's all you really wanted was to be happy because I feel like you had deep emotions for this person. You really loved. This person, especially when they would kiss you something, some of them would kiss you on your forehead and you would melt like butter. And then by the time, I don't know, they switch a switch up low key, they switched up on you and started treating you like a certain kind of way. But then now you found rich fulfillment or you're healing or you're balancing out your life and your energy. Yeah, you're going within. You had a spiritual awakening. And that's the question. How can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough to know when it's time to let go? So you let go of this other toxic ass low vibrational energy. And they can't believe it. They're like, oh my God, but thank God that you let them go. Because they got burnt from this Queen of Wands in reverse now. And now they're looking at you like you they counterpart. Like Queen of Wands, King of, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. And look, the King of Cups going through a tower, honey. Yes, he is. And he want to come travel with you to work out something with you. No, no, Gina, you stay uh, on guard, on guard, okay? That's what you feeling, and that's what you, but uh-uh, this person need to use, spirit, don't let this person come in near, near the children. Please don't hurt your children. You know what? When I was little, I don't know, I know I was wrong, and I was young, okay? That's not an excuse, okay? I kind of knew better, but you know how young kids, little kids laugh at shit? There was this psalm, Dear Mr. Jesus, this little girl. I think I was in the third, was I the second or the third grade? I was coming home, well, walking from the bus stop back to my house. But they played that song on the school bus, uh, Jesus. It was a letter to Jesus. And it was real sad because I'm not, I mean, I, you know, somebody was hurting the children, okay? You know, putting their hands on them and stuff. Blue and black eyes and things like that, like. This person, I don't know what that, what, I don't know. Ooh, this person could have, it could be a, hmm, they could be abusive. I'm going to put it that way. Yeah, they could be very, very abusive. Fussing and fighting, aggressive, and now they're in regret. Maybe a fight, maybe some words were said or exchanged, and they, they feel bad. Look, and they caused a fight and a fight. Now they feel bad. They can't take back and because now you're guarded and defensive. So it's something that this person did or said that left a memory that can't be erased down there in your mind. And you've healed from that. And for I feel like for a lot of you, yeah, they want to equal give and take, Queen of Swords. But it's not equal, though. It's weird. And they not, oh my God, Spirit, what is the Nine of Wands for this person? Spirit, because they still in the... They want to cause conflict. They still fighting. And they still this Gemini still want to fight you, or Gemini you want to fight somebody else, or you're in regret. Like I don't know. I think you have some type of compulsion. Compul, what is it? 
when you do stuff abruptly, compulsive disorder. Like you need to control your emotions and your motor skills. Like you get mad and you lunge or you plot and you plan. It's like you need to balance out your life because you're mad because somebody ended something with you. But you know your ass was toxic. They had a right to. And you went off and did something with the Queen of Wands in reverse. God. And you possibly got something from it. And then you want to come back to what? And then you're going to fight like you're weird, sir or ma'am. What is this? Look. They, they want to create black magic. Now they want to get, they pouting and fighting and fussing and throwing tantrums. Oh, look, this is a good, this is karmic energy. Definitely your twin flame for sure. That's what twin flames in the, in the reverse do that are not healing. Because, you know, it's very rare that they come together. So those that come together, congratulations. But everybody's twin flame. And I know everybody want to be like, well, my twin flame? No, 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 baby. Accept it. The better you accept it, the more you can heal, grow, learn, and evolve, and move on to a happier life. Okay? Get a, a, a spiritual contract. You got to break the other contract to get a new contract so you can move forward. But this this person, they're too petty. You can't trust this person. They are not because they want to win at all costs, and they—I promise you—they are holding some type of grudge because you left them. You left them looking crazy. Look how this crazy man look. He looked crazy holding this mannequin in the middle of the desert. Job, yes, and you made this part. You embarrassed this person. They don't know what to say or do. What else? Let's get a zodiac sign. No, let's finish a little bit. What? Yeah, let's finish a little bit. Spirit, what else? Yeah, they feel foolish. That they, honey, let me tell you, they didn't even think you was about to go get somebody. But I don't feel like you got somebody like that. It says I'm back on the dating scene and making an effort to move. So this person, they're drinking. They might come to you inebriated. They be drinking and thinking about coming towards you. They want you to make the first move, but I don't see you budging. But they gonna make the first move, honey, because you about to get locked locked down. Whoever you are, male or female, and they want to come together and collaborate and stuff because they really imbalanced and they petty. You can't, like I said, you can't trust this energy. They are, mm -mm. and they're in denial about whatever's going on. Oh, so Lord have mercy. Especially this is, mm. yeah, no, this person is too impulsive and they're still non committal. They get angry when they drink. So this is an angry drunk or something like that. They change personalities. Yeah, and then want so this is a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type energy. They act like they're healed and they're oh I love you. Oh come hither. Come hither together. And we will lay down. Lay me down and make love forever. <laughs> this is this type of energy. And then all of a sudden they're doing the Schmeagol Gollum energy. They're getting angry and mad at the same time. Remember Schmeagol from the Lord of the Rings, that little old thing? A little creature in the marsh and you wanted to help him so bad you know what i mean but then all of a sudden when he didn't get his way like i was saying in the little grown man or grown lady tantrum they would turn evil and sadistic and try to set him up and stuff lord of rings is a long ass movie or a trilogy honey but it's good that movie honey you can learn a lot spiritually in that movie okay uh i'm not advocating it but it's a good movie okay this person needs to heal because they, they too impulsive and you can't trust this person. They know they're a heavy burden, but they're a heavy burden because you're getting the wheel of fortune. Things are going in your favor. But everything that's happening is currently happening as a faded event. This is supposed to be. You're supposed to take a leap, a leap of faith and have a new life. Because you're listening to your ancestors, God the Most High, the angels around you. And they are currently doing sex, nasty, black magic to try to call you back. But it's they heavily burning because it ain't working. That's why they all in their head beating themselves up. Because you're too healed. You could be a star, okay? Or you could just be very nurturing, very healing, very bright. You have a bright, you know, the, the um, what's the light inside of you that look? You, honey, you the child of God, okay? You just glow from the inside out. There's just something about you that people just can't. They just, it's the God in you, okay? The God in you, okay? And that's why want they want to come back to you because you're about to get a divine union that, that is, that is sent by God. That's your, that's your destiny. 
That is your destiny to have this divine union. Okay, not with the old person, but whatever God's got for you, the new new, after you've healed and done your thing, the work that you needed to work through, you're about to come into this union. And that's a beautiful thing. While this person's still partying their life away, just looking crazy. Mm, very childish energy, by the way. Okay, I'm not even, look. Very childish. That's why you're holding back from this person because they're not even learning. They're the same. Spirit said they're worse. So since the last time you've seen or known them, they're worse. Dang. See, the dark gets worse and worse and the light gets higher and brighter and brighter. Here we go. The sun and the devil right here. The light shines brighter and brighter and brighter and the devil shine gets darker and darker and worse. That's just where we at. So it's angels against demons at this time. There's a demon in their mind. I mean, in their, in, it's they, it, not in their mind. They are the demons spiritually so, okay? Um, those that know, you know what I'm talking about. We're angels having a physical experience. So if you're a bad angel, low vibrational angel, him downstairs, angel in a physical body, that means you're a demon walking the earth in flesh, okay? Okay. And... If you are resonating with the highest white light, God, Yahweh, Elohim, whoever you deem, whoever is the sun that rules the earth, created the heavens and the earth and the devil, the one that's the ruler of him downstairs, but he has a purpose to do bad in a sense, so God can overcome, look, look, if you know, you know. So this person's heavily burdened because it is like angels against demons at this time. They think that dark magic is working. No, it's not working. I mean, God will, you know, God is the best illusionist. The best illusionist. He will let you believe and think something that's not really what it is. And he might make it look like it works for a little while. But God, though, for real. And these people look at them. They looking crazy and shit. So anyway, yeah, that's crazy as fuck. And now they're under judgment. These people are under judgment. This may be because death is on that ass. Death is on that ass, and Archangel Michael is balancing out the skull. So something needs to be balanced because somebody tried to un they tried to undo what God has moving forward. They tried to bring a burden on your back, but it didn't work. You're moving forward still. It says you got away. You did get away from this person, and they're pissed off about it. They've been defeated. The only reason you're there in regret is because you're getting this union. You broke the chain. You know what I mean? You're getting this union. And um, they're at their breaking point because they thought they won. Dang, Gemini. I love it. I love it, baby. You keep going. Keep doing your thunk, fizzle, for shizzle, my nizzle. And yeah, that's all I got for you right now, Gemini. Until then, um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you so much. I love you, everybody. And we will convene again. Have a great day. Bye.